How to make grubby candles. We are going to be doing the dripped, dipped, and whipped method. And included on this video will also be one that I did with the cinnamon. So first, of course, you're going to need a beaker of some kind. Set your minutes at four minutes. And we are using the emergency pillar candles from Dollar Tree. They are made of paraffin wax. And we can also use some leftover wax tarts. Remember, the wax must meet and fit what you're doing. So, pillar wax for pillar candles. Tart wax works the same. And, of course, if you're doing a jar candle, you would, of course, use jar candles to do that. So, I'm just using some leftover tarts. And I've already melted the emergency candle from Dollar Tree in the microwave for minutes. My microwave is 1200 watts, so that may vary. Now I'm showing you the packaging on the back of the emergency candles. They are true pair from wax, and we are looking for this. We're starting to get a little bit of cooling and setting up of the wax. This is real key and important as to making it effectively. So first, take your pillar, and you're just going to be tapping and drizzling and patting and I'm using a silicone spatula and just roll it around so this right here is the dipped so to speak and it gets this grubby effect to it as you can see here now the next method we're going to use is the drizzling or the dripped and as you can see it looks the same as the dipped so depending on how drizzly you want it. And I showed you just the outcome of the drizzled or dripped method. Now here once again is the dipped and right beside of it is the dripped. And as you can you can't hardly tell them apart. So on to my favorite the whipped method now we're looking for a consistency here as it starts to cool down you're going to keep it in motion but be aware that you want to have your pillar candle ready and i'm just using a standard pillar candle we're going to color this one with a crayola crayon you must use crayola i selected blue because it is made out of canola oil now it only took a minute to remelt that solution and get it to the consistency that I need it because I want it to cool down. This is sped up so do not agitate it that quickly. See how we're still seeing a little bit of blue there? And when I raise it up again, see it's still more heavy? This is what we're looking for. Smooth, uniform, consistent. Now as it begins to cool down, we're going to be moving it around a sort and see how we're agitating it and we're getting it whipped and it's just as it says whipped now i couldn't do this one handily so a lot of this is done off camera but you get the idea you're shaping it molding it the wax is soft and once you get it painted on there so to speak or placed you can hug your candle so by hugging it, that's going to bring it closer, molt it. And as you can see, I didn't do the bottom. The wax is still warm and soft, so you can press on it. And this is hugging the candle, shaping it, molding it, forming it. If you want higher peaks and higher pitches, use a fork to get a more whipped effect. But remember, your wax is cooling. So I've set all three here together. So we have how we dipped, dripped, and whipped. Now I'm going to show you, you can do this on the battery operated pillar candles. And it turns out so primitive decor, primitive grubby candles. Beautiful. And once again, you're going to press the warm wax while it's melted and just form it around the pillar. And you can do the inner side too, just stay away from your bowl. Now I'm showing here the finished product. And where I have hugged this pillar candle, it has a more smooth finish to it. And as you can see, it 
has glossiness too. Once again, avoid the bottom. And as long as you stay on the outer perimeters while you're putting your whipped wax on there. If you want it more whipped, more lumpy, you will need to drizzle and drip or you can uh, dent and press the spatula and make more concaved areas. So these are our three finished. We have our dipped, dripped, and whipped candles. Now I've included on here one of my other third favorite methods from my previous video that I had done. And it is also in the video library here on YouTube. I will make sure I put an I card, but right here is the thumbnail you're looking for. The third method you can do grubby candles is you're going to take and make you a little bit of a gluey solution because we're going to make this more like a putty and so just get you a little bit of your Elmer's glue going there you can use Mod Podge but for this because it uses a lot you may want to save your Mod Podge for other crafts now they have the little pallet knife at Dollar Tree and I thought this would be a good way to mix this up. I'm having a feeling that I'm probably going to want this one simply based on other things I've done. So you want to add a little bit of water to this and I have some dirty paint water but it's only going to take a couple of caps full to get that going and just make that mixture and that will help break down the glue a little bit so it spreads a little thinner and we just need that little bit of mix going there so what we're doing now is we're going to pour that onto our cinnamon and depending on how much you want to make would depend on how much of your solution you make and you're basically getting it dirty with the cinnamon powder making it kind of grainy and gritty and we do want it to have that darkness to it so it looks like we're going to need a little more this is fun mess <laughs> this is messy fun guys I so like we're it. just making a putty and the cinnamon really soaks up your really quick so that's why you want to have something like this to work it and basically what you'll do is you will putty your candle and there is no right or wrong to do this guys you want it lumpy you want it to look grubby so you're just putting your cinnamon paste on there and right now it's kind of a plaster and then see so you can just tap at it and get it really grubby and lumpy and get pitches and so forth going in the candle and along the sides and just kind of get it get all these pits going so now that I've got that good and pitted like I want I'll let it sit and harden once it hardens I can decorate it or you can leave them just like this they look great just like that because the more you work them the prettier they get really so I'll sit that one there I'll work this one this would be a good Christmas present too guys stocking stuffers all kinds of things because they they just really look really good at weddings and just really nice and like I said these will be burnable all of these methods these three methods are make your candles burnable okay guys so now I've shown you three different ways that you can make your own grubby candles these are beautiful in all of your decor for fall, year-round, including Christmas. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. That lets me and YouTube know that you enjoyed it and you'd like to see more of the sort. For those of you who are new to my channel, make sure you read the comments and suggestions because everyone who subscribes to my channel is part of my DIY team. Click the subscribe and join us. Until the next DIY, I will be crafting y'all. This is Elizabeth. Bye, guys.